What's going on everybody? Hair here and yes, here we are talking about the Los Angeles Lakers. I did this for the Warriors already. I've done that for the Kings, of course, a massive Kings fan. But, you know, just trying to expand a little bit. And yeah, talk about the Lakers. They've been eliminated now in the playoffs. So uh, let's get into it with their fan base. Um, their cap isn't great right now. Um, and you have to make some very tough decisions. Um, you're going to pay a lot of luxury tax. Uh, you know, if you don't make the right decisions, and I, I don't think the Lakers will do that. They've shown that in the past. They let Malik Monk walk. They let a couple other guys walk as well these previous seasons. Um, right now, you have to. It looks like you have to pay Austin Reeves. It looked like at first he was going to get a four, four fifty, four years, fifty million total. He's actually played very good in these playoffs, so I do think you're going to see him get something north of 480 um, in the in the free agent market. Lakers can match it, and I believe they will match it, but they're going to let... This is what I'm talking about, their tough decisions. What I think will happen from a Kings fan's perspective. What's going to happen? I think no matter what, they're going to keep Austin Reeves. If that's 480, 460, 455, but I think he'll get more than that. And I'm saying 4 for the four years, he'll get a four-year extension. I mean, congrats to him. He's been been balling, been playing great. Um, but I believe he's going to get. If I had to guess, I'm going to get say a 470 or 480. Yes, that's very high. But I think that's what he's going to get. That's what the market's going to demand from him in today's NBA market, and the cap's going to keep going higher anyway. So I believe he's going to get a 480, possibly 470. Somebody will offer it, Lakers will match it, and that's when you're going to make some very tough decisions because rumor has it you want to bring in Kyrie Irving um, to pair with LeBron. Le Kyrie Irving has been the few Laker games even um, in the past season. I don't think he's staying with the Mavericks, and the Mavericks wasted their time trading for him. I think Kyrie will be on the Lakers next year as well. But you sign Austin Reeves to the four-year whatever, and then you sign Kyrie to a giant deal as as well that's going to be very tough then you got to fill the roster with a bunch of uh just whoever's at that point because i'll be honest i was very jealous of the trade deadline now from a king's fans perspective because i think the lakers made some fantastic moves say what you want about delo but he's a fantastic playmaker i'm not playmaker he's a fantastic scorer it was hit and miss in the playoffs, but he's a great scorer. Can pop off for 40 at any time. Uh, doesn't play a lick of defense, but who does in the NBA these days, right? Uh, so I think you're going to let D'Lo walk, and he's going to sign on. He was vocal how he, he liked being in the Lakers and all that. But he's also going to he's gonna want money as well. Then you have to talk about Rui Hachimura. You're going to talk about Vanderbilt. There's a lot of guys that they acquired in the trade deadline that you have to pay. But I think your first priority is going to be Reeves, and then you're going to go for Kyrie. Oh, I mean, Kyrie will be first priority, but your first priority to re-sign will be Reeves, and then it'll just be a domino trickle effect from there. So say what you want. I'm not trying to hate on the Lakers. I just think you're going to make a lot of tough decisions. The new collective bargaining bargaining agreement um, will be a test to that. You're saying it's making trying to make it a little more competitive So um, from the big markets and the small markets. So yes, first move you're going to sign Austin Reeves or match the offer, whatever the case may be. They won't let him walk. I guarantee that. He's young, homegrown in L.A. Uh, they're not going to let that happen with him. I think they're going to sign Kyrie Irving. I, I really do think that. Again, he just wants to be there. Him and LeBron AD, that's what's going to happen. I believe you're going to let D'Lo walk. I believe you're going to let one of Rui or one of Vanderbilt walk as well. Maybe both, but I think you're going to let one of them walk as well. The trade deadline where they acquired all this talent, you're only going to keep a fraction of that. That's because of the collective bargaining agreement. That's because of um, Reeves' extension and because of the signing of Kyrie Irving. Now, if you don't sign Kyrie Irving, then you might uh, you can see something where you can keep a lot of those guys. But I believe that's what's going to happen. Um, again, you have Anthony Davis's contract in there. You have LeBron's contract in there. And again, everybody else are fillers. So you're going to let one of Rui or um, or Vanderbilt walk. And I think at this point, you're probably going to let Vanderbilt walk because he was unplayable, really, in the Denver series. He's, he's a liability on offense for the most part. He's fantastic defensively. But him and Rui are very similar in the sense of long... Um, stretch four, stretch threes even, a small ball stretch five to an extent. Rui did a good job guarding Jokic at some point. Um, so I think you're going to let Vanderbilt walk. And then whoever let, whoever walks, I'm guessing Van, I'm guessing Vanderbilt because Rui um, can give you a little bit more offensively. Kings better pick up. 
that's exactly what they need. And the Lakers got two of them, two guys uh, that that can that are you know long fours that are athletic, um, that can play D. That's exactly what the Kings need. One of those guys needs to go to the Kings. Whoever the Lakers don't keep. Then you got Mo Bamba too, who didn't play either, was injured, and then kind of unplayable, injured, just kind of story of his career too. Another guy I wouldn't mind on the Kings. Again, the Lakers did a lot of great moves this off this trade deadline, but it's going to be hard to keep everybody. I kind of think Mo Bamba will stay around on a very low deal, um, but who knows? He can be let go too. He can be signed somewhere else as well. Who knows? But I think that's your main moves this offseason. What happens to the Lakers? I think you sign the big fish in Kyrie. You re-sign um, Austin Reeves, and the rest are fillers because your main guys are going to be LeBron, of course, Anthony Davis, Reeves. Uh, Kyrie Irving. I mean, that's a pretty solid team already. Then you got to fill in the roster with some fillers. Um, you got your Lonnie Walkers of the world as well. Um, but yeah, the rest of them, I believe, walk or get, go to other teams so they try to get a payday. Um, so we'll see. Just from a Kings fan perspective, we'll see what happens. They still had a fantastic season. They went all the way to the Western Conference Finals after, you know, being almost a bottom of the West team. That trade deadline, they killed it. I, and I hate to admit it as a Kings fan. The Lakers killed it, the trade deadline. Let's see who they'll keep. That's just what I think will happen. Financially, to me, it makes sense. This is